Hello, my name is Tim Pullen, and I'm a graduate student at San Diego State University under Dr. Waters. I'm doing my master's in uh, Masters of Music in Composition, and I'm emphasizing electronic works. Currently, I'm doing an internship at a university in the state of Michoacan and the city of Morelia, which is um, in Mexico, about three hours from Mexico City. And I'm working under Dr. Rodrigo Segal, as well as Francisco Colasanto, and some other excellent professors there at the university. And I'm doing independent work right now to create a generative piece of music and animation that uses Adobe Flash and Max MSP. So if you don't know about those already, you should go check them out on the internet. Um, and I might post some things about these programs at another time. But I'm going to assume that you know about each of them. If you don't know as much about Flash, I'll spend a little bit more time talking about Flash uh, than I will about Max. And I'll assume that you're working from a Max standpoint. But for those of you who have questions from the other way around, feel free to ask me about those as well. So, what I'm doing is I'm working with some existing technology to translate between those two programs. That's the first goal of the project I'm trying to accomplish. Some technologies already exist out there to do that. Uh, one of them is called the Flash Server, and that's from nomedia.net. And then there's another one called Flask, um, and that stands for Flash OSC. Each of these programs is a program that uses OSC messages, which is open sound control messages, it uses those messages to communicate information back and forth between Flash and Max. So there's more complications uh, behind that, but the simple idea is it's a translation between one program's way of um, talking about data and another's. And the excellent part about it, potentially, is that you can use Max to control Flash or Flash to control Max. Max has a much more powerful set of tools for working with audio and MIDI and anything that has to do with this realm. Of course, users may know that it also has jittering and do a million things now with pictures and video and so on. But Flash is by far the larger program when it comes to visualizations. It has many capabilities for uh, vector drawing and uh, now working with uh, pixel images, as well as working with video. Um, and its whole basis uh, is on timelines and animations. The problem with Flash is it has a very, very small feature set for working with sound. For just doing typical things like triggering uh, a recorded sound that you load, or for um, mixing simple sounds now, there are some possibilities in Flash. But to generate interesting music structures, uh, to have them be as dynamic as animations are, this is something that currently can't really be done by Flash. So it's very, very helpful to have Max MSP as a backend, as a sound generator. What I wanted to do is to be able to use the best of both worlds. Furthermore, ultimately, Flash can be embedded into browsers and I would like to be able to create flash um, applications and installation works that sit on websites that anyone can load and then have them send sounds from Macs uh, to the animations that they're playing with. In order to get the best out of each of these programs you need to be able to connect them together and you need to format the information in a way that each of them can understand. I told you that the options that basically existed for those, and there's other ones as well. But these are the options that really work for bi-directional communication. The best options for those were Flask and uh, Flash Server. So I decided against using Flask because Flask, you have to set up a separate Java server in order to relay the information back and forth. And Flash, you don't have, um, Flash Server, you don't have to do that. It's embedded into the, flat, um, the Max platform, 
as an external object and it directly communicates to Flash using TCP ports. So that makes you have a, another a, a layer that you don't have to deal with. And it also gives you the possibility again of embedding things into websites and other cool things that you might not be able to do as easily with Flask. Um, there's several other programs out there too and probably more coming up that can communicate between the programs. But some of the programs, even though they're nice and modern, and um, cannot do bidirectional communication. They only communicate from Max to Flash, for instance, something like that. So those weren't acceptable to me. There are even further things out there, hardware controllers that already communicate to Flash or communicate to Max. For instance, um, making things which uh, has various hardware devices uh, has created code that will communicate between their devices and Flash or their devices and Max. But each of these only communicates from the device to Flash or the device to Max converting OSC. It doesn't allow a way to communicate between Flash and Max as far as I can tell. So these weren't options that were viable for me as well. Ultimately, the only real option that existed was to use the Flash server. But Flash server was uh, written a while ago and written in the previous version of the programming language that Flash uses, ActionScript 2. So that's a problem. That's a big problem. ActionScript 3 is much more powerful and capable and is radically different than ActionScript 2. So after searching all over the web, I was able to find a translation of the ActionScript from ActionScript 2 to ActionScript 3 that was done by Alex Riley at alexriley.net and I suggest checking out his work. He's done some cool things and continues to do more. The original Flash server um, information um, and the external object that still works is here um, at uh, nullmedium.de uh, slash develop slash flash server. So go there and check it out for yourself. You'll need to download that file for the flash server and install it in Max. And then you'll need to um, download the flash um, ActionScript 3 um, class from Alex Riley to put into flash. Once you've got those things down, um, and I'll do a separate video that describes how to do those, uh, then you're able to start um, communicating between the programs. Now, as is, the version that Alex Riley created um, was an example that takes information from Max in these three little windows here, and when you move your mouse up and down and make the numbers bigger, uh, this type of thing, um, it sends out information to Flash and it sends little messages that come up in text boxes. I didn't want the information to arrive in text boxes though. I wanted the information to arrive just as uh, different numbers that could be put into variables. That way anything I felt like doing into Flash I could do. I could just uh, send information from each of these boxes to the appropriate variable in Flash and then I could put that variable into properties of uh, animated objects such as I could make a box or a ball or something in Flash and I could change its X coordinates on screen based upon the information here. So I send this number and as this number changes it changes the number in the variable which is assigned to the X position of a box. This to the Y position, something like that. That's the basic idea. The reverse is also true. I take information from Flash and um, assign a variable to whatever I'm doing, clicking a mouse somewhere or something like that. And it sends information back into Max here in the reverse way, where I can then take it um, and assign it to things like um, a pitch height or a pitch 
loudness or anything I just uh, decided I'd like to use it for.